Hi, it's been a while. I'm going to read you a book. It has a little sticker on it from one of the libraries covering part of the title, but it's called Goldie Rocks and the Three Bears. Not Goldilocks, Goldie Rocks. And two separate words instead of one word Goldilocks. It's Goldie and Rocks. Rocks is a verb or an action word. And it's written by Corey Rosen Schwartz and Beth Colton. Now, usually I read these through, but I've only skimmed this one through. So hopefully we'll do okay with it, okay? It looks like a kind of a funny book. All right, here you can see these three bears. What are they doing? Yeah, they look like a rock band. It says, once upon a rock and roll time. Three bears in a band jammed with ease. The papa bear drummed, the mama bear strummed, and baby bear tickled the keys. So you can see all their instruments there. Drums, guitar, and a keyboard. <laughs> but the band didn't have many fans yet. And papa bat bear figured out why. There's a picture of them on the stage. They're performing, but they're looking a little discouraged because look at the crowd in the seats. I can see a few uh, bugs. They look like grasshoppers. And these two grasshoppers are going thumbs down. That's kind of silly. The other ones look kind of interested, but they were discouraged, the band, because there was hardly anybody there. Oh, and here's some people over here on this side. Some people, <laughs> meaning grasshoppers. So here they are talking about what to do at the dinner table. Though we all love to croon and can carry a tune, we can't hit the high notes. We can't hit the notes way up high. So they set out to find a soprano. That means someone who can sing high, and that's usually a, a girl. <laughs> Soon after they left... To, to go look for a soprano, a girl knocked. There she is, knock, knock. And here they were just leaving, and then she comes to the door after they leave. Hmm, it's trying to sound a little bit like the three bears, doesn't it? Is that porridge I smell? Gee, that would be swell. She checked, and the house was unlocked. What do you think she's going to find inside? <gasps> she opened the door, and you can see she's quite excited because she looked over here, and she saw their instruments and microphones and speakers and all that kind of stuff, and she said, a studio, great balls of fire. Amazed, Goldie raced through the door. She forgot about food and was now in the mood to hurry on in and explore. So even though porridge smell had drift, drawn her to the door, now she went to look at all the equipment. The mama bear's mic hit her elbow. So she think it wasn't quite the right height. And Pops reached the top of her head. There's the daddy bear or papa bear's microphone. But babies was hiked just to where she liked. I'll give it a whirl, Goldie said. And there she found the mic by the keyboard was just right. So there she is. She grabbed it and started performing. Oh, doobie wop, dum diddy do. <laughs> She was singing quite well till she stumbled and fell. Oh, and the microphone stand broke in two. Oops. The microphone didn't break, but the stand it was on did, and the cord was all wrapped up. She's like, uh-oh. So Goldie said, I'll try the headphones. But Mama Bear's pair was too tight. Ugh. And the Papa Bear's headphones were too loose, meaning too big, right? But, gee, these are no use, she said. And then Baby Bear's fit her just right. You can imagine what was going to happen, right? 
too tight, too loose, oops, sorry, too tight, too loose, and just right. And now she's pretty happy about that, isn't she? And she's starting to sing and snap her fingers. That tune was so catchy, thought Goldie. I'd love to be a part of their band because she's listening to their melodies in her headphones. The guitar, and here she's going to try their instruments. The guitar was too twangy. And the cymbals too clangy. <laughs> the piano was perfectly grand. <laughs> So once again, Mama Bears and Papa Bears weren't right, but Baby Bears was just right. Exhausted from moving and grooving, she needed to catch a few Zs. This day's been a doozy. I'm feeling quite <gasps> snoozy. So she dozed off on Baby Bears' keys. Look at that. She's laying down right next to the keys, put her feet up, and went <sighs> found asleep. Hmm, what do you think is going to happen next? Well, in the meantime, remember the bears had gone out looking for a soprano? The bears had held tryouts. They were trying different people or different animals to see who could fill, or people, to fill the part of their singer for their group. So they'd had tryouts, but no one had blown them away. And here's a picture of the rabbit or hare. The hare was too twitchy. <laughs> the pigs were too pitchy. That means they were a little off key. Looks like these two pigs, whoops, sorry, I'm not holding it high enough. These two pigs are kind of frustrated with this pig. It's a little singing off key. And here's the twitchy rabbit. And red was just simply, okay, there's Little Red Riding Hood. She's got her basket. But they're kind of like, eh. Nobody really met their needs of the people, or the animals and the person they had try out. So the family returned to their cottage, distressed from their lack of success. And when they saw the inside, the mama bear cried, he gads, what a mess. It's a terrible mess. And here they are walked in and they saw their equipment on the ground and things rolling around and the broken microphone stand. They didn't see this sleeping girl yet, but they saw that something was definitely wrong and someone had been there, right? Here they go looking. Someone's been using my mic stand and someone's been using mine too. Then Baby Bear spoke. Oh no, my stand broke and he started to sniffle. Boo-hoo! So here's Mommy and Papa saying, my, someone's been using mine, and someone's been using mine, and mine's broke. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sounds a lot like the other three bears, but with a little different storyline, right? Then Mama Bear looked at her headphones. Oh, someone has tried my pair on. Mine too, Papa growled, and the parents both scowled. <clears throat> this is frustrating. Who could have done this? As Baby Bear cried, mine are gone. <laughs> Look at there. Somebody's sleeping, but they can see her yet. Well, then Papa said, who played my drum set? And Mama said, who plucked my strings? And, well, who's in my chair, asked the littlest bear. She's drooling all over my things. Drooling. <laughs> Look at this picture. They're like, huh? Sometimes when people sleep with their mouth open, they drool a little bit. <laughs> so that's what's happening to poor Goldie Rocks. Or Goldie, I should say. Rocks is... Burp. Okay, so she's dripping out of her mouth, and they discovered her, and they're like, oh my goodness. They stared at the slumbering blonde girl, and Papa asked, who could she be? He's kind of scratching his head. He disrupted her dream, and she awoke with a ah! scream. 
The pitch was a perfect high C, meaning it was a very good note. So here she is. <laughs> and the bears are like, <clears throat> yikes. But what's Baby Bear doing? He's smiling, isn't he? The bears asked to hear a whole medley once Goldie recovered from her shock. Amazing, said Mama. Pop grinned, you're the bomb. And Baby Bear cried, Goldie can rock. <laughs> she was just who they were looking for to sing with their group. And they were so happy that they met her and found her. Together they wrote a new ditty. That means like a new song. They practiced in, it into the night and soon their new jingle became a hit single. Too hot, too cold, or just right. That's the name of their song. <laughs> and there you see them practicing and singing through the windows there. All the musicians and Goldie singing. <laughs> so their new song became a hit. Their albums or records now top all the rock charts. A countrywide tour has been planned. The fans scream and shout they're crazy about. And there's the band. And there's uh, Goldie. And look at all the hands in the audience. Because they're happy to hear it. They're all excited. Right? The fans scream and shout they're crazy about. Goldie Rocks and the Great Three Bear Band. <laughs> there they are. Ta-da! <laughs> and that's the end. That was kind of fun, wasn't it? They all became partners in the band. And that's the end of Goldie Rocks and the Three Bears. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.